Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here and today I'm bringing you my review of Super Troopers 2. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. If you enjoy the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. So Super Troopers 2 from the legendary Broken Lizards. This one is rated R, has a one hour and 39 minute runtime, is a comedy crime mystery. As you guys probably know by now, I don't know how to say the director's name. We'll just call him Jay. And it stars the rest of the Broken Lizards crew, Steve Lemmy, Eric Stolhansky, Paul Soder, Kevin Heffernan. It also has Rob Lowe, uh, it's also Sean William Scott and Damon Wayans Jr. However, they're only in a small scene at the beginning. So this movie takes place sometime later than the original Super Troopers movie. Um, they're mostly working in construction now. The beginning of this movie is really weird, and I, at the first I was like, oh man, this movie's going to be bad. Super bad. Although I was laughing a lot, I was just like, why would they even do this to this movie? But bear with the beginning, it'll be okay. <laughs> So it turns out this small town on the Canada-US border is actually part of the United States and not Canada. So the super troopers are given a chance to go there and work in a transitional period as the people transfer over from Canada to the United States. And of course, while they're up there, they find a drug and gun smuggling ring and they have to stop it. Uh, this movie to me, I'm not sure if I like this one more than the first one. It's been a while since I've seen it. I was never a huge fan of the first one. I always thought that Beer Fest was a much better movie, a lot funnier. Uh, I just, I always liked it a lot more. Not to say I didn't like Super Troopers, but a lot of times when you bring up Super Troopers, people are like, oh, that movie was hilarious. And I just never really understood why. Like, I thought it was kind of funny. It's a little too silly, I think, at some points you know, maple syrup chugging contests and, and stuff like that. I just, I feel like it's a little, just too silly. So I definitely thought they were a little more serious in this one. Um, of course, they still do joke around, but they're they're trying to keep their jobs and they, they want to take things a little more serious. Unfortunately, the uh, Canadian Mounties, whose jobs they're taking over, are kind of hazing them or playing jokes on them or whatever. So they feel like they have to get revenge. And that's kind of when a lot of the silliness takes place. But it's not a huge chunk of the movie. Not to say that there aren't jokes throughout the movie. Jokes and being silly are very different, I think, you know, where it's just kind of over the top, nonsensical silliness, or they're just good one liners or funny situations or whatever. <laughs> so everybody hates Farva still. I think that's a, a focal point of this movie how much everybody hates Farva and how annoying he is. Um, there actually, surprisingly, are a lot of twists in this movie. Um, there's some things I think are pretty obvious and, and some that you, you might not see coming. Um, but I did enjoy this movie. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, I, I watched at the first half and then I watched the whole thing a second time, you know, and I, I didn't find it quite as funny the second time. But I still thought it was a fun movie, uh, good for a few laughs, uh, a, a decent story, nothing great. Um, you know, just an okay idea for a movie, but I did, I did enjoy this one. I think it's, it's worth a watch guys for sure. I'm going to give this one a six out of 10. I thought it was funny, but in a few parts, a little too silly and, um, just, just not the most believable idea for a story, I guess. But, uh, overall I did enjoy it. So I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the review. If you did, be sure to leave it a like rating. If you haven't already subscribed for more videos, check out the videos. Check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com. And I will see you guys next time.